this lesson, we're going to be creating a butterfly using symmetry and a special way to transfer your drawing. I just want to start by saying use the supplies that you have. If you don't have the supplies I'm using, that is okay. I'm going to be using watercolor paint. Remember, you can use markers for that and oil pastels and crayons. Either one would work. Start by holding our paper horizontal, that's landscape, and folding it in half. Remember to really line up the edges in the corners and then crease it with your finger. This is going to create a good line right in the middle of your paper. Just created a line of symmetry. Using that line, we're going to be drawing a butterfly. Next to the fold of your paper, we're going to be using basic lines and shapes to create a butterfly. And so I slowed down my hands in this um, portion of the video because I really want you to focus on how I'm only drawing half of a butterfly. So I used a backward C line for the head, a curved line for the body, and now I'm using a swirly line for the antenna. I'm going to continue to only draw half of my butterfly. There's a reason we're doing this. I'm going to teach you a magic trick on how to transfer half of your drawing onto the other side of your paper. Go ahead and finish drawing half of your butterfly on your right side of the fold. Notice how I'm trying to really, really fill up my space. I'm not drawing tiny, I'm drawing pretty big. Try and take my drawing all the way to the right side of the edge of the paper. Once you have your right side of your paper, with your drawing, you're going to then take a black crayon or a black oil pastel and you're going to really, really push down hard using heavy application to trace over the one side of your paper. I'm doing um, a two coats of that crayon. I'm going over it once and then going over it a second time um, using heavy application. Remember, when you do this, we want to create a thick layer of that crayon so it helps when we're doing our transfer magic trick. I'm going to go ahead and finish outlining the right side of my paper and get ready for the trick. Now we're going to take our paper and fold it in half where our butterfly is in the inside. Using a marker or the side of a pencil, you're going to take it and you're just going to kind of rub that paper. Rubbing it really hard using your muscles because we want the crayon to jump on to the left side of the paper. You can always open it up and check to see if it's worked. Um, if it hasn't, just close it back up and push a little harder. Let's see. All right, you can kind of see mine. I'm gonna close it up and see if I can push a little bit harder. This is called the transfer method. It helps us have perfectly symmetrical butterfly. Symmetry, or sy something that is symmetrical, means it is the same on both sides. It means it's the same design on both sides. Did you know a real butterfly is the same on both sides? Isn't that pretty cool? Next, you're going to just take your crayon and you're going to outline the lines that have transferred, making it a little bit darker to match the other side. Can you see how my design is now becoming symmetrical? Isn't that really cool? Now, here's the fun challenge. You're going to get to color with crayon or oil pastels some of the designs of your butterfly. Remember, if we're doing something that has symmetry, we even want our colors to be the same on both sides. So if I color an orange dot on one side, I need to find the matching dot on the other side and color it the same. 
you're gonna do this for your drawings too. Remember, if you don't have oil pastels or crayons, just use what you do have. Um, I'm not gonna color in everything with oil pastels because I would like to use the resist method where I use paints on top of them. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of cool designs within my butterfly making sure to match them on both sides and then I'm going to do a watercolor wash on top. You can do it however you want. Just remember butterflies are very colorful um, and they have symmetry meaning they're the same on both sides. Can you think of some shapes that have symmetry too? So I'm just using a little bit of watercolor to create a little bit more of a colorful design on my wings. You can do the same. Once this dries, I'm going to take some scissors and cut it out because I think that it will look really cool without that background and we can actually make it fly. I hope you had fun doing this lesson and I can't wait to see what you create. Have a good day!